Hi team, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to a new workout challenge, workout number three. For this workout, you will need a few pieces of equipment. So the first piece will be a booty band. Then the second piece will be some sort of chair or something that you can step up because that's what we're going to do. And I will be using a towel just so that I'll put it, especially when I'm going to sweat, which I am, I will be sweating, I'll put the towel behind my back just to protect the wall. Yeah, just get yourself a water bottle and that is all you need because for this workout we will start off with 30 squats. For the squats you can choose to pop your band just above your knees to give it a bit more, a bit more tension. Then we move it on to 20 lunges, then 20 lunges. This is not one, both legs, this is one. So one, two, until we reach 20. Then we move on to 20 glute bridges. It's the same thing. If you want to, you can pop on the band. You can go on your back like this. Open your knees and then pop your hips up. That's the glute bridge. We will do that one 20 times as well. And then we will move on to step ups. So then you will need your chair or I just took a little piece from the outside garden set from here. And then you're going to go on your foot, like on your front, and then you go to go up and down, up. And try not to push too much from this leg. So try to go put your weight on this leg and then push, push yourself up. Then at the end, we will finish off. Same thing you can choose to get the booty band, put it around your knees, just above your knees, but you do not have to, because we will finish off with a 30 second wall sit. So ooh, that is it for the workout. Make sure you have your water. I'm going to start the timer soon. And then we will just ramp this out. Three rounds. So yeah, let's do this. So before we dive straight into the workout, just grab your booty band. We're just going to do a little bit of a warm up. Don't worry, it's not going to be too long, but it's definitely important to warm up just a little bit so you can already start your watches. Okay, so make sure you start your watch and we go into the warm up. So you pop your booty band just above your knees and then we're just going to do some side steps just a few times. We can go a little bit into a squat, we're just going to warm up. Try to push your knees out to get that tension in your glutes. Okay, we're going to do our back swing back, try to keep this still. Just use your leg. And swap sides. Most important thing is to just try and keep your posture as upright as possible. Okay, you can pop it off. Let's just do some hip rotations. Ooh, that always feels nice. Okay, 
Okay, let's just do some leg swings. You can hold on to something on the side if you're not too stable or doing it on one leg. Feel free to hold the wall. And swap legs. Oh, also got a little wiggle there. start the workout. Okay. You can pop on the booty band if you want to, you do not have to. But if you want to, feel free to pop on the booty band. Because we're going to start with the very first workout, which is 30 squats. Okay, get ready. Because we're going to start in three, two. One, there we go.
I'll play ten more. Over as 
do this.
when he step up and he decides to do four legs, no problem. That the sweat starts, I'm like, yes, okay, we're over the warm up phase, we are getting into the workout, you know, we have to grind, we have to work for it. So, yeah, just chase that. You don't, I'm not saying that you have to sweat, but it just happens in the eye, I sweat quite easily, but I also don't really mind. Be sure to have yourself some water before we continue. Because we're almost there, so make sure to pop on your booty bag. I've been chatting way too much. Because we're starting in a few seconds. Last round. Let's do this. Just keep pushing. Even though it's heavy, just keep pushing. You feel so much better afterwards. Let's get into it. Thank you. 
two. One. Well done. Well done. Okay, we're going into our final and last exercise of this workout, which is the 20 minute wall sit. So if you want to, grab your booty bed. Woo! Last one. Always quick, these workouts. You think, ooh. Three rounds, this, this. Once you start, it's over very quickly. We are almost 25 minutes in and we're almost done. Get your stuff ready because we are going to start with our 30 seconds. Almost there, keep on, keep, keep pushing. Almost there, and there we go. Woo, yeah, you feel that. <laughs> you feel the last one, 30 seconds. 30 seconds is always long if you need to wait for a web page to load. But when it comes to workouts, 30 seconds is long. Okay, we are done, the workout was just under 26 minutes, so that's very decent. Let's just do a little bit of stretching before I let you guys go because it's very important as you know you've probably seen a lot already in the first two workouts. I always make sure to do some sort of stretch. I just find it very important to get your heart rate down. It might be a bit high you know because we've been training legs so your heart rate might spike a little bit so what we want to do is we want to calm it down and we're going to do that by stretching the legs, the parts that we just used. So get yourself on your yoga mat. I always enjoy having a towel there, especially after I sweat. And we are just going to do some stretches. So you can come on one knee, one foot in front, and we're just going to do a little bit like this. I'm going to push your hips forward and back. So we're going to do a little bit of dynamic forward, not too much because it might be quite sensitive, you don't want to push it too much. Just going to repeat this a few times and you'll probably notice that your heart rate is dropping down quite quickly, which is a good sign. And we're swapping legs, doing the exact same thing. on both sides of your leg and just bend it and stretch it, bend it, stretch, there we go. Just a few times to loosen up these hamstrings. Okay, do the same thing on the other leg, swap sides, so bend and stretch if possible as far as you can but don't go where it's too painful just get that nice and stretchy feeling Go forward, lean on it. 
Yeah, I promise you, you'll feel it, but it's a nice, it's a nice stretch. It's a very nice stretch. You can just hold this for a few seconds. Do the same thing on the other side of your knee and drop your hip on the floor like this and then you can move your hands forward. If you want to, you can just wiggle around a little bit like this and into the stretch. There we go. Okay, and I always like to end it with a little wiggle of this to be like, ah, oh, that feels nice. Okay, thank you so much for joining me on this week three workout. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was challenging and I am excited to see you next week. Bye.